Good morning, everybody. We're out here. It's uh, Thanksgiving Monday. I got old Smoky warming up. It's been sitting there where we cut that tree down the other day. This is where I got it stuck last spring. And uh, last night we had some heavy winds and I heard some cracking and crunching. Uh, kind of in the middle of the night, I thought, oh, we lost a few trees. And sure enough, got a red pine down. We got this old poplar. Um, with a red black cherry. I'm not sure what it is. Anyways, uh, so I guess we got some more stuff to mill coming up soon. still see them. My horses must not have realized that they could go in here. I opened it up to them the other day, but here you can literally see where we bale grazed, the last bale. Look how green. Look at the difference. Come right up through, acting like a sponge. Look at the difference. You can see where that entire bale reached. And the difference in the growth. She thinks my tractor's sexy. <laughs> kind of is in the fall. Kind of pretty. Yeah. These guys will eventually go get that bale. These two here are used to cows. Same as this one coming. He's been in with cows. They must not have realized that I opened that last night for them. Oh, here comes the other two ladies. Now, these two? I've seen, this is Raven, the black one. I have seen her get real low across the fence with another cow and they're kind of playing. 
So I would say both these and Scarlet too has gone after them a little bit. Um, both of them are quite cowy, I guess you could call it. So it'll be quite funny to see what happens when they come in here and try to take over this bale with the cows. But they've got three different bales I can choose from. They've got three different pastures and three different bales. There's one bale in each pasture. You coming in? They're probably gonna graze. Yeah, they're gonna graze that nice. So the stuff that I showed earlier, which is just where we bale grazed cows last time, and it's come back up. The cows probably won't eat that, um, mainly because they've already spread their own manure on it. So you can see how green that patch is. But the horses will come and eat over top of that no problem. It's not an issue. There's Paisley. So Paisley hasn't been in with cows since we uh, adopted her earlier this summer, or this spring, I guess. So she might, she's kind of chasing them by accident because the cows also are not really used to horses. The odd time I put Jeffrey in there, so it's not a big deal, but what do you think, Faze? I think she just wanted to see because she hasn't been in this pasture. Um, she, yeah, she's never been in this pasture. I don't know if Scarlet has. Scarlet might have. At one point. What do you think? Do you like it? The poor things are all a little bit chilly. Here's the really neat thing about these guys' coats. I'll show you with Jeffrey because he has the best coat for it. See how that coat just wicks off that rain? It is completely dry underneath that. So he's fine. Like you can see, I know, sorry. Hi Jeff, I'm just going to move your coat. Um, yeah, it kind of just forms into little triangles and then the water wicks off. Ooh. You thought he was a cow! <laughs> she totally thought he was a cow. Okay, go slow because there's holes. Go slow. There's a couple sinkholes. These guys don't realize it yet. Yes, there is a sinkhole near there. Super funny today. They're just, they're just not used to having the cattle. And they are separate, like they're just kind of doing their own thing, but it's pretty funny. They've been across the fences from each other and that too, and like I said, the odd time the pony goes in there, so it's not a big deal didn't need to be this big thing to reintroduce them. But they should be spending the rest of their time there. <laughs> 